stands out for me uh, at the conference is the quality of the speakers as well as the attendees. Well, it was good to have the European um, Member of Parliament actually present, sharing, I guess, his views on Australia's place in the world, um, and I guess even his acknowledgement that um, the EU might have, I guess, not put the right enough attention to the Pacific and highlighting the EU Indo-Pacific strategy, that, that was useful to hear. My favourite part of the conference so far was on Sunday, in the session with the AIIA Next Gen Network, um, the Diplomacy Masterclass with Sue Boyd. Seeing her depart her wisdom and the young women in the room being in raptures over her early career in diplomacy was such an excitement. What stood out? Well, Sue Boyd's stories about her um, travels through through the world as head of missions and um, her time overseas, those were absolutely fascinating and I think it gave me a real insight into what di um, diplomatic work actually looks like in, in reality and that, that was refreshing. I think Kim Kardashian would have been jealous because the line for selfies with Sue after her session was long. Um, it's been a great uh, opportunity for intergenerational exchange in our foreign policy community. Um, in terms of interna uh, the international business one as well, that was, that was really refreshing because I am not familiar in that sort of part of, um, uh, uh, I guess, um, international affairs, but um, I'm glad I did that, definitely. Uh, I, made, I made friends, old and new, at the conference, people from around Australia who uh, have different life experiences and different perspectives, so it's always good to hear from their views.